This is the front of Judge Beckett's property. It's enormous. It looks very luxurious, Holmes. This man has conducted his career brilliantly. Who says that crime doesn't pay? It all depends upon for whom. You never said a truer word, Watson. Now, let's try to find a way in. What's that package you are carrying, Holmes? You haven't said a word about it all the way here. Cakes for my old aunt. <laughs> Your old aunt? Stop pulling my leg, Holmes. If you want a sensible answer, then you should ask a sensible question. Very well. I'm going to ring the doorbell. That should be an appropriate task for someone like me. No, leave it. I'll do it. Closed. No reply. The house seems empty. Shall we wait, Holmes? No. We shall enter discreetly. The judge's absence is a blessing. It means that we can investigate without being disturbed. You're thinking of breaking into the judge's house? Have you gone bad, Holmes? Don't worry. I shall be careful to remove any traces of our visit. Listen to yourself, Holmes. You're talking like a common criminal. Mr. Holmes, Dr. Watson. How nice to see you again. Do you remember me? Of course, Miss Lucy. How could anyone forget so pretty a smile? You are looking lovely. Watson, we have things to do. Holmes, you remember Lucy? We met her during our last investigation in Whitechapel, on the trail of Jack the Ripper. I remember only the essential details of the case. This brief meeting has been very pleasant, but sadly, I must leave you, my dear Lucy. I'll see you soon, Doctor. This lock should be easy to pick. Let's see. I need a supple pin, Watson. Can you find me one? Very well, Holmes. Ah, oh, Lucy, you have no idea how heartlifting it is to meet you here like this, particularly at this time. Tell me, what you've been doing? You've become a florist. Oh yes, Doctor, I am a florist. And I'm married now with beautiful little twin girls. Congratulations, Lucy. Enough about me. Can I help you with something? A pretty bouquet, perhaps? Not at the moment, Lucy. I really need a supple metal stem. A plant prop should do. Oh, I see. Is it to open a door or a window? Aha, Lucy, you are a surprising lady. Let's just say that the lock on the door to my flat gets stuck, and I should like to get in through the window. In that case, a prop wouldn't work. Better to use a hair grip. It's the ideal tool for an honest man who wants to get into his house without going in through the door. You are wonderful, Lucy. Goodbye, Doctor. Holmes, perfect. This lock should be easy to pick. Let's see. Here's the kitchen. There's enough room to feed a dozen people in here. Yes, according to the newspaper, the judge's wife also feeds her pupils, in addition to teaching them. There is something interesting here. An ore lock. This isn't the place for it. Cooking oil. This 
classroom is magnificent. These children are very lucky. This woman is admirable. As she was unable to have children of her own, she decided to care for hundreds of others. This is a photo of the judge and his wife. This photograph was taken on Judge Beckett's wedding day. Can you hear that small metallic sound? There is something inside there. This photograph was taken on Judge Beckett's wedding day. Big Ben. The judge got married in London and early in the morning as it is just 10 a.m. There is some connection between cities and numbers on top of the box, but I lack the necessary information to obtain the solution. Perfect. Apparently they were unmarried at the time. I cannot see a wedding ring. The most romantic evening of my life, in the heat of Bombay. The clock points to 6 p.m. Interesting. Perfect. There we are. It is simplicity itself. The blackboard shows the last lesson given to the children, ancient Greek. This screw is stuck. It is preventing the picture from turning. A desire to cook. Letters. Copy them down, dear fellow. Very well, Holmes. Perfect. An ore lock. It's a sweet box, probably for rewarding good pupils. One of the Greek books is open, perhaps the subject of the last lesson. 
The door handle has been removed. Everything points to someone who does not wish us to open this cabinet, which is a good enough reason for opening it. This overall belongs to the young James. Sweet papers fallen from a pupil's overall pocket. Well, the young James has stolen the handle to the sweet cupboard so that he can pilfer it whenever he likes. If we find his desk, we will find the handle. A book about student organizations in the United States of America. It's a plan of the classroom. Thanks to this plan, we will know which desk belongs to James. Right, let's open James's desk.
Please take note, Watson. We are making headway. How do we know what this means? There is no point in visiting the upper floors. We know from the newspapers that this building is deserted, so there is no risk of anyone coming down and surprising us. There are naughty children in every school, from what I can see. We are in the judge's private office, Holmes. What are you going to do? Turn everything upside down? That is a distinct possibility. I will not leave until I have found what I am looking for. Don't forget your cakes when we leave, Holmes. Of course, Watson. A Habano Clorissimo cigar. The young Beckett and his friends rowing. Or lock. It must be a souvenir. A souvenir from the University of New York. That's the university where Judge Beckett studied. Beckett, honorary member. This must be the symbol of an organization to which the judge belongs. Look at this symbol. It must surely be very important to Judge Beckett. The judge used to row. Nothing of interest here. Blind justice. From whence his ignorance. Amusing. Nothing but trophies. The judge must be very proud of them. at the bottom of each of these holes. I can make out a mechanism at the bottom of each of these holes. I can make out a mechanism at the bottom of each of these holes. These oars can turn. This door is very solid and there's no lock. The best thing to do is to carry on exploring this place, Holmes. Watson, this really is the most ingenious system. It controls the opening mechanism. Very ingenious. But do we need to enter? Judge Beckett is very rich, and the room perhaps only holds valuable objects which he wishes to protect from thieves. Doors are made to be opened, my dear fellow. This gentleman certainly likes oars, to the point of exhibiting them in his office. A Greek letter. The list of symbols of the American universities. This note must surely be very important to Judge Beckett. The list of symbols of the American universities. Incredible. Man. 
masses and masses of files. Holmes, these files, these cards, these reports, they're all about you. So it would seem. Your whole career is mapped out here, investigation by investigation. Look, a detailed report about your work in Whitechapel during the Ripper affair. And there, your relationship with a certain A. Lupin. And here, the details of your methods and transcriptions of your conversations with the greatest violent criminals. My God, look at the titles of the files. Fraud, deception, corruption, forgery, murder. What does it all mean? Quiet, let me concentrate. Concentrate? This judge has the reputation of being the most honest in the kingdom, and he has built an overwhelming pile of documents as high as Big Ben about you, and you talk of concentration? To open his chest, to what end? Quiet. Holmes, answer me. What is the real reason for our being here? Did you know what we were going to find before we came here? Evidently. So that is the real reason behind this break-in. You're only interested in the contents of the chest. All the rest of it was nothing more than lies and manipulation. The most important is the one in the chest, Watson.
There. I have what I came for. Show me the file, Holmes. It is unnecessary, Watson. It's a file about you, isn't it? Is it so compromising that you don't dare show it to me? You came here to steal the research about you carried out by Judge Beckett, Holmes. It was the only thing that interested you. We'll see about that later. We must put everything back in its place. No one must know that we've been here. Help me. Go and put the paddles back into their original position and I'll deal with the rest. But that's the plan of my flat. I mean, our flat. Before leaving, I must put the oars back in their initial positions. Quick, Watson, we must get out of this house. Immediately. What? But... Be quick, man, it's urgent. Because of you, we have to flee like common criminals, which it seems we have now become. I only hope that the game is worth the risk. Show me the file right now. Let's find a cab as quickly as possible. We can't stay here. Why are you in such a hurry? You... Wait! Look over there! Judge Beckett! Yes, it's him! Let's go and talk to him! It's too late. Do as you wish, Holmes, but I need to hear an explanation about what was in that armoured room. I'm going. No, stay here. That's an order. Your giving orders changes nothing. I'm going to talk to Judge Beckett and you will not stop me! Watson! Watson! Are you all right? My God! What happened? Lucy! Oh, Lucy, poor girl! I must do something! Holmes, I need your help here! Forgive me, Watson, but I'm afraid that I must leave now. Leave? What the devil do you mean? Holmes, come back here! Holmes! Holmes, are you here? Show yourself! No one. Perhaps it is just as well. I don't know what my reaction to him would have been. How dreadful. The poor Miss Lucy hanging between life and death. Luckily, I was able to place her in good hands. But how the devil did Holmes know that a bomb was about to go off? And what's more, he seems to have taken advantage of the tragedy. No more Judge Beckett. No more compromising documents. No more proof. There is nothing at all.